CoolersOnSale.com here for a Coolers on Wheels or a Cooler with Wheels video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Evo 50 quart cooler. This is a soft sided, a semi soft sided cooler. It has wheels and a telescopic handle, and we are actually running an ice test right now. So we just wrapped up our soft sided ice challenge. I'll link to that in the description below. And now we want to test this Evo, another soft sided cooler, and match this up to see how does this fare against the other ones. Now, because this is a much larger cooler, this is 50 quarts versus the ones that we tested in the past, which are between 20 and 30 quarts, we've doubled the amount of ice that is in this cooler to be fair so that the percentage is about the same. Speaking of ice, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside and I'll show you what this cooler is all about. Uh, like I said, we doubled the amount of ice, which means we went from 10 pounds to 20 pounds in here and I've put six beverages in there. Right now, we're 97 degrees on the surface of this cooler and 41 degrees inside the cooler. That's still coming down and you can see where the uh, the sensor is sitting and you can see that we have some ice melt in here because we actually started this test yesterday in the afternoon but look at the th how thick this cooler is it's very very thick but yet it's not a roto molded cooler it's a soft sided cooler and we'll take a look on the out back side of this and we'll show you those wheels so it has the wheels that, that are recessed back into it but yet it still sits flat and then this telescopic handle here can, goes all the way down so that when you're storing it it's not in the way and pulls up and it's really really easy uh, to wheel two cup holders and a little bit of uh, kind of like not a cutting board but but a surface to store stuff. So now that you've seen that the cooler does have the 20 pounds of ice that we just picked up at the store yesterday, we are now 18 hours into the test, which is what you're seeing in there, how much ice melt. We're leaving this cooler out in the sun all day. We're out here camping in the Badlands in South Dakota, so it's gonna warm up uh, even more. It's 9 a.m. and uh, we're already 97 degrees. So for this thing to go above 100 is uh, for sure gonna happen. Now our other soft-sided coolers that we've tested went two and a half, to three days depending on which model it was. So we'll see how this cooler stacks up against those. And then at the end of this video, we'll go over a couple different features that this cooler has because it is one of a kind. I've never seen a cooler like this. It's uh, pretty unique and the first one to the marketplace, but I'll address that at the end of this video when we have how long this cooler can hold ice. We've reached the end of the test. The Evo 50 quart semi soft sided rolling cooler went two, between two and a half and two and three quarter days. So how does that stack up against the other soft sided? Uh, to give you a reference in our last soft sided ice challenge, the Yeti Hopper and the Torrent, they both went two and a half days. So this performed a little bit better. We did put 20 pounds of ice in this cooler as opposed to 10 pounds in the other one. But again, this is a 50 quart cooler and not a 20 to 30 quart cooler. So we wanted that ratio to be about the same for this cooler as the past cooler so you guys can make a comparison at home. So this cooler has held ice among the top performing soft sided coolers that we've tested at again between two and a half and two and three quarters days. I want to go over a few things that people commonly asked me on these soft sided coolers. Let's first take a look on the inside. You'll see how much water is still remaining uh, after that 20 pounds is melted. And take a look at this when you come up. Look at how thick that lid is. It's about four inches thick uh, on the lid and then on the inside. Uh, I mean, it's just super, super insulated on the, on the inside of this cooler. As you can see, this is now 20 pounds of ice and six uh, cans inside. And the water has only filled up, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20% if that, when it was actual ice it came up to about here which was about 20 percent so it's roughly the same let's take a look you got plenty of spots for attachment to attach gear in fact this cooler even comes with a little day pack that you can attach to the front and uh, i'll show that in the full write-up last thing i want to show is the zippers so the zipper is a water resistant zipper but as you'll see when i flip this thing upside down it does hold the water inside it is a almost a waterproof style zipper we'll go ahead and flip this upside down so you guys can see that it's it's holding that water in there nothing's coming out that water's sloshing all the way around in there and it's not coming out I'll give you a look at the wheels here the wheels are um, they're more robust than the roller blade types of wheels they handle pretty well and then here's the telescopic handle which I'm actually really impressed with I think it's a solid build quality some of these can be a little bit chintzy but this is I don't know how well that's going to come out on video but it is a very robust handle uh, for, for a cooler like this the last thing I'll do is wheel it around because 
because I feel that a lot of people ask, oh, can this, can this cooler handle uh, sand or gravel or is it a pavement only type of thing? And this handles the grass decent and it handles the gravel. And you'll get an idea of when I push forward, that's usually when a cooler wheel would get caught up. So it handles fine pushing forward and backwards and across either grass or gravel or of, of course pavement. So anyways, guys, just wanted to give you a look at the Evo 50 quart cooler. We're going to have a full write-up of this on CoolersOnSale.com. Go over the ice retention, some of the unique features because this cooler fits in such a unique space. It's not a soft side. It's not a roto molded. It's got wheels. So it's a lot of features that are a little bit different. I want to dive into that online. Just want to give you an idea of what it looks like, how long it holds ice. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll be back with more videos next time.